Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, apparently I did a whole poll on Instagram to see what you guys wanted to see as my next video. And I have two videos coming up for you guys. One is a get ready with me, and this one is what is my filming setup. So I wanted to go ahead and do this video to help a lot of you guys who had wanted to start doing a YouTube channel, wanted to start up, or you guys wanted to improve probably your setup. My setup's probably not the best but it did improve a lot from when I started. So I wanted to go ahead and help a lot of you guys that probably don't know a lot of things about it. And you guys wanted to be more informed about what I have or also I wanted to be, to do an expensive and a more affordable. So depending on which one you guys can go for. So I wanted to go ahead and just jump right into it. So the first thing to start off is cameras so I use two cameras and I'm gonna go ahead and be switching back and forth from the camera I have on here to this smaller camera so I can show you guys my setup so to start off this camera is a Canon G7X Mark II camera that I use um, this is a very good camera as you guys can see a lot of um, youtubers and vloggers and all that use this camera a lot and you can find this camera most of the stuff that I literally mentioned in this video is going to be listed down below and mostly everything is from Amazon because Amazon is my best friend like that's where I find everything so and I'm very lazy to like go to the store and go get it it's like well sometimes I do like to go ahead and, and like inspect I like to window shop a lot but Amazon's my place to go so more about this camera I wrote everything down so I'm very prepared today so this camera is 649 on Amazon. Well, and it depends like where you find it and sometimes if you just get the body alone or whatever if it's Wi-Fi enabled, it just depends on what you get. So this is this one. Then the next camera that I'm using right here, it is the Canon T3i. So I'm going to go ahead and switch off. So this camera right here, this camera is the Canon T3i. Um, the Rebel T3i actually and this is a very old camera I use the basic lens which is the 18 to 35 millimeter uh, no 18 to 55 millimeter um, it's an old camera but I mean it still works pretty good for what I use it with as you can see probably this quality on the um, G7X is probably better than what I was filming with which is this one so sometimes I just switch off depending on what um, but it's a good filming camera. I really do think that if you want to start off YouTube, you should really invest in getting a Canon camera. Um, I don't have anything against any other cameras, but I think Canon's probably the best camera. It's on my list, like in my book, I think it's the best. So that's what it is, 18 to 55 millimeter. That's what it looks like. And it does have a um, screen. So this screen does pop out. And what I notice, I'm sorry, my nails are too long. But this screen pops out and that helps a lot of people, especially when filming. I really do think that you should get um, a camera. It's a little bit dirty, but a camera that has this screen until you're like more professional because I think this screen really helps a lot. So you can see exactly what you're doing, especially for um, people that do a uh, beauty stuff so you can see exactly or vlogging I feel like it's easier but you don't really really need it as much as like beauty gurus probably do so that's that camera okay so besides the Canon and the T3i some cameras that I do recommend are the T7i the 6D Mark II those are mainly cameras if you have the money or you want to invest in something that is great a good camera for this there's a lot of other cameras out there there's the 80d 7d 5d there's so many other cameras but it's just mainly what best works for you I wanted to go ahead and improve and upgrade this camera that I have to a newer one if you want to invest in anything invest in your lens the most because your lens is what does all the work so the body doesn't really matter as much it still matters but I feel like the lens is what gets the job done and those are pretty expensive too so you gotta kind of think about what you need or what you're gonna use it for um the t3i um costs it depends actually some come 
L as 300 to 600 it's like between that range still I'm not sure why it's still pretty expensive but since it's a really old camera it's kind of hard to find too since they're not longer like getting sold by um, Canon Canon I believe I think you can only find them by like Amazon or like other sellers the next thing on the list is tripods so the tripods that I use are the one that I have on this thing. It's the Polaroid um, tripod. It's 75 um, inches big, I think it's inches, I'm not sure. And it's $39.99 on Amazon. Mine is broken. The leg is like popped out. But I mean, it doesn't even matter as long as... What matters the most is that you're actually recording yourself and you're actually putting and posting these videos. That's what matters. But I'm just trying to help you guys out with my setup. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So the next one that I have, which is behind here, which is holding my light um, up here, it is a, what is it? It's Zek, Zektai? Zek, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's going to be posted down below, but it's a travel tripod and it's from 16 to 47 inches. And that one is um, actually more affordable, which is $28.99, which is it's pretty small. It's not really stable, but it, I mean, it gets the job done. This next one is um, Targus, Grip Targus. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I, I'm not going to be able to pronounce a lot of these things. So it's Targus um, Gripton Pro Flexible Tripod, which is this kind that is very flexible and you can use. So a lot of vloggers use this kind of um, tripods. They're actually really good. They can hold the camera pretty well. There's also the other one. I think it's Joby. Joby. I don't know how to pronounce that one either, but it's different. It's like it doesn't have these that disconnect it's all like put together but it's still bendy too and this one i actually bought this one at best buy but you can also buy this on amazon you can buy it anywhere you can just go ahead and search up all of the links or the names and you can find it wherever you want but amazon's my thing and this one was 16.36 on amazon or you can also if you don't want to use like tripods you can use boxes you can go ahead and stack them and just put your camera on top if you're trying to film on a desk. Or you can get books and literally stack them. That's how I started before I was able to even get a tripod. Okay, the next thing, it's the number one thing to it all. Like, I'm serious to it all. That's going to help you to get the number one quality. It's like, it makes your quality a big difference. And I started off from total trash, from like literally it was just like a lamp that I had in front of me so that is the ring lights I have a ring light right here and I have two soft boxes here and I still use a small little one behind here to create like a little halo around but you can't really see it right now since it's the backdrop is black but I use those four and some other beauty gurus have another one which I wish I had but I don't have it yet so this ring light here that I have, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Okay, so this ring light, it's the newer ring light. It's a dimmable 18 inch. So you can see this is my camera and I'm there filming. And this one goes right here. It has a slot there, but I don't have the little thing to put my camera on top in the middle. But it has it. And it comes with the, ring, the tripod as well to hold, well the stand to hold it. And that one is 75 watts and it was um, $100 basically to just have this ring light. These two are soft boxes and those were the limo, oh no, these were also newer. They were the 700 watts and they're 24 by 24 soft boxes. And there was two of them and they comes with the stands as well because you can get them separate. So those were 62 99 for both of them with the stands included Okay, so besides that I have this light behind me and it's this one and this is the tripod that it comes with so this one right here and You can take go ahead and take this off. So I'm going to show you guys This it's like this and it's probably like running out of battery, but they come with gels. So these gels are amazing when it comes to using them for photography or anything like that. They're good. So you can go ahead and put this on you. So those are these. And they're limo, it's called a limo studio 160 LED with color filter gels. So you can take the gels off and it looks like this. And you use this to put behind to create that halo that a lot of beauty gurus have. 
So that's what I use. They probably use different things, but I use that. It works perfectly fine. And you can turn it on or off from here. And it has a rechargeable battery. It works just as well. It's very bright too. So, and the, that one was $36.99. So this backdrop is um, all black. I have two backdrops and the backdrop stand. The backdrop holder is from Amazon too. I think it's the Julio or some, I don't know, it's Julio something. But I think it's the same brand as the one with that came, that is with this light. Um, I'll go ahead and link it down below because I'm not completely sure what the name of it was. So the backdrops, going back to that, um, you can go ahead and start off with getting backdrops fabric. You can start off fabric, you can go to Joann's, Michael's, all those places. Even Walmart has um, that. That's where I started off. I just literally pinned it all around my wall and I started off like that. So now I have a actual holder to hold it so I have more space to move around. But I mean if you want to start off you don't have that much money, that's a great alternative. The best kind of backdrop to get are mainly seamless paper kind because the seamless paper ones don't get wrinkled and it's a lot easier to handle, but they are a little bit more pricey. So that's why if you don't, you can't afford that, don't get that. Um, I right now use the fabric still and I use, um, this one was a newer a 6x9 um, backdrop, feet backdrop. And it was, there's different kinds of colors and I use a 6x9 because my pole, my holder is 7x10. So it works perfectly fine. Backdrops were only 15 bucks. And I know in LA you can go ahead and get fabric and that's why I like to use a fabric because since my channel mainly focuses on beauty, I like to change mine and you know there's glitter backdrops and all that in LA so for, fa for fabric. So it works best for me. So this remote control, it's a newer remote control. It's an LCD digital timer remote and I use this to start and stop focus and also if you could take photography and stuff like that or time lapse and all those types of things. Um, this is great because it knows it times everything and you can take a certain amount of pictures per time like the amount of time that you want. It's like per seconds or something like that. So I use this one. It's perfectly fine. Um, it works good. So I can literally focus you, stop, instead of having to get up, go press it, sit back down, it's a lot harder. So I started to use this one and it works great. And this one was $15.99, I also ordered it from Amazon. Another thing was the HDMI cables. I have some HDMI cables that I use, which are these. I got these on Fry's. Um, you can go ahead and connect from your camera to your laptop and or your computer, which I use a desktop, a Mac desktop. and because of that, that way I can see myself and what quality it is. That's why you see me looking this way a lot. So I can see the quality and see myself a lot better than having to see myself through the small screen. Especially when I have really bad eyes. The last thing is a lot of people did ask me, um, what do I recommend for people who barely want to start YouTube? And a lot of people come to me and ask me so many questions and they're scared of to start YouTube. How do I start YouTube and what should I do? Just go for it. Just make the video. Sit down, make the video. It can be on your phone. You can start off on your phone, put some books, and record yourself. Do whatever you want, but actually sit down and do it. Like, really, don't be scared about what people have to tell you. Or there's gonna people be like, there's gonna be people out there who are gonna judge you regardless. When I barely started, it was not the best thing ever. I literally recorded off of my phone on my bed, and I sat down on the floor and put my bed. And I literally sat there and just said, hey, this is my introduction to YouTube. I did not even make a whole video. I just said, this is how I'm starting, which was probably the worst way to start. But here I am now with a better setup and now influencing a lot of people to start. And even if there's not a lot of people who watch you, if you're consistent and you love what you do, there's going to be people who are going to go ahead and support you regardless of what you do. So that's why I'm saying don't be scared because the world, they're always going to judge you. So be you, be yourself when you film. It gets easier. A lot of people are scared to film themselves and sit down. It is scary to be filming yourself on a camera. It's kind of nervous. You get nervous. I still kind of get nervous. I talk so fast and I get nervous sometimes, but you'll get more comfortable. And especially around other people, if you think a lot of people are going to judge you, especially like your family, you're around them and stuff, and they don't 100% support what you do. I mean, do it when everyone's asleep. 
I'm like, it doesn't matter. Do it at nighttime. If you really love to do it, you love to edit, you love to do photography, why not? Start. It's like there can be so many opportunities that are open for you, but don't just walk away from them. You have to actually, you know, try and chase your dreams because if you don't do it, then someone else is going to catch it before you do. So that's my live talk to you. I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment them down below. Find me on my Instagram. Go ahead and DM me. It doesn't matter. I'll go ahead and help anyone. A lot of people are very scared to talk to me for some reason because I look very intimidating, but I'm actually the most nicest person that you can probably ever find. Like, I will have no problem helping you. You guys have to give me some time to reply because I get a lot of messages and it's takes a while but I most likely will reply to you so go ahead and comment below um, go ahead and comment what else you guys like to see any questions about starting do you guys want another video and a whole video of how I started a q and a it doesn't matter just go ahead and ask any questions I will go ahead and reply to them all so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you so much and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you guys are. Bye!